Inquiry Action Research, or PAR, is an inquiry process in which people ask questions that are important to them. It allows people to research questions that they can then make informed decisions about and act on. And in asking those questions with others and working on the process, they build capacity because they're working with each other, they're finding out the power of learning and sharing knowledge with one another, and this is something that then becomes uh, very relevant to their lives. It is also a process that is a cyclic, repeatable process. So people can find out information, make decisions, act on them, and then assess their actions, assess whether or not they need more information and continue on with that. Well, I collaborated with two graduate students, Maria Hicks and Jason Miller from the Department of Anthropology, and together we planned and taught a course that matched students. Students were able to choose the organizations that they were going to work with to um, engage in the research that is part of the PAR process. So students were able to choose from a variety of organizations. Some of these organizations were nonprofit social service agencies. There were a couple of businesses. Um, one student worked with the local public library. And the kinds of questions that the organizations were interested in were things like, well, are we serving our clientele? Are we, get, are we getting services to our clientele in the best possible way? Um, are we communicating well as an organization? And um, what is life like for youth here in Bellingham? Those were the kinds of questions. Oh, another interesting aspect was, um, I think it's week seven, but I think I finally realized what PAR was, I call it a PAR epiphany. Apparently, I, I, I was so entrenched, so ingrained in the traditional research, I really did not necessarily know what PAR was until that later week when I made the observation that people within my focus groups were starting to participate and generate research questions of their own. I found this really strange um, that uh, people would turn to me and go, oh, is this okay if I, if I ask this question? I think you might get some better information. And I was like, oh, go ahead. And it was shocking to me as you know, used to, to doing traditional research to have people who actually wanted to help me with my research and ask questions within their own group. And so I felt that that was probably the true part experience because they were co-researchers. They weren't just uh, participants, they weren't object, um, subjects, or not objects, and I wasn't a researcher, they were doing the research with me. And so I felt that was probably one of the high points in what we were doing. I felt that was what PAR was, and I didn't really know that until later on through the process. Students would enter into the process as team members with their community partners, and in the classroom, they would uh, learn some of the research strategies that they could share with their community partners. The, the classroom was also a place where they could uh, debrief and talk about how the process was going. And it was a very interactive environment. The students learned an enormous amount from each other, as well as from Jason, Maria, and myself. And at the same time, the community partners were their teachers. The larger classroom was really the community itself. <laughs>